Good morning, everybody. Thank you for being here. Uh, my name is Scott Elliff. I'm the superintendent of schools for Corpus Christi ISD. Since the tragic passing of a Haas Middle School student earlier this week, our focus here in the district has been and will continue to be on his family and the students and staff of Haas Middle School. We are especially mindful of their grief at this time, and we want to be very respectful of them as they prepare for his funeral mass tomorrow. At the same time, I know that there are questions that many have regarding the procedures and practices leading up to last Wednesday's game and any changes that we plan moving forward. So I want to brief you on what we do know, what we plan to do to know more, and how we will be moving forward. Beginning Wednesday night from the hospital, I directed our staff to begin the assessment of district playing fields for safety conditions, including the presence of ants. We know that ant movement can increase, particularly when it rains after long dry spells. We've confirmed that with experts. Our maintenance staff began that assessment on Thursday morning, and since that time, with the continued rains, I've directed staff to continue assessing our playing fields, more than just football fields, at all levels to survey for ant mounds, ant activity, and any other safety issues. Subsequent to the incident on Wednesday, all middle school fields were treated for ants and were closed for use through the weekend. Loss of life for a student, any student, is cause for grave concern and warrants a serious inquiry into policies and procedures and the implementation of those procedures. While being sensitive to the student's family and the fact that the process of laying him to rest is not yet complete, we in the district have implemented an internal review of our policies and procedures related to assessing field conditions prior to playing games and our first aid and emergency procedures. That immediate internal review of policies and procedures has led to the following, specifically an inquiry into the usage and availability of epinephrine and EpiPens in athletic and school first aid kits. And I'll be meeting early next week with a local medical ex expert to explore the expanded availability of this medication and the implications and medical protocols for use in emergency situations. Inquiry into the accessibility of trained medical staff and the use of ambulances at middle school football games. Our staff is gathering information on the feasibility of having EMS personnel on site. And an inquiry into the process for assessing the conditions for outdoor play on district athletic fields and playgrounds. This includes assessing the conditions for spectators and access for emergency personnel. I believe it is critical, however, to put to rest any questions or concerns that our public and our parents may have about what happened and what will happen in the future. The gravity of this situation demands such an inquiry. As superintendent of schools, I believe that will best be undertaken by an independent third party so that there will be no question as to the impartiality of the findings. To that end, I'll be working through the rest of this week to finalize those plans for an independent third-party inquiry. Such an inquiry would involve an independent examination of our current policy and procedural expectations, a thorough examination of last Wednesday's incident, and any recommendations moving forward. And I will be providing a complete briefing on the plan for a third-party inquiry at our board meeting next Monday, September 23rd at 3.30 p.m. Let me be very clear. We are at the very early stages of fully reviewing this entire in incident. And I know that all of us want answers, especially in a tragedy such as this, when there seem to be no good answers. But I urge everyone, and I mean everyone, to refrain from jumping to conclusions before having all the facts. To do so would be a disservice to the memory of this young man and the staff who have been serving him. And with that now, I will take a few questions. 
please know that there are probably some items that I will not be able to comment on since we are reviewing and still investigating at this point, but I'd be happy to take any questions. Michael. Uh, and of course, of course, that's going to be part of our uh, part of our inquiry as well. Uh, what has been reported to me is that on Tuesday and Wednesday, those fields were uh, examined by the uh, by the coaches, uh, and they were the field was mowed on on Wednesday as well, and there were no ant mounds noted at that time. Um, Elaine. Currently in the district, uh, EpiPens are available for those students who have a doctor's order for them, uh, and that is the, what we're going to be exploring with uh, a local medical expert next week, what the protocols are for the use of EpiPens uh, and what that might look like to expand their use uh, for students for whom we do not have a doctor's order. Okay. Michael? Andy, I mean, sorry. No, there was no indication that I am aware of that the district had that the student had an allergy. Michael, you had one more? Um, I do not know the chemical that we use to spray the field. I understand that we're using a granular application, uh, which also, uh, when it rains, that allows that application to uh, soak into the fields. Uh, our fields are being assessed twice weekly. Uh, and uh, those applications are done according to the requirements of, we have requirements uh, in terms of pest treatment that we have to follow, and so uh, we're following those protocols. Any other questions? The determination was made that the field was ready for play. Remember, it had been raining, and we do, we do play on fields when they're wet. Uh, immediately prior to the game, there was a, a, a rain shower that occurred immediately prior to the game, but it was not determined that it was uh, not available for play at that time. Thank you very much. I appreciate you being here today, and um, uh, appreciate your continued interest, and we'll continue to brief you as we gather more information. Thank you.